Good evening and welcome to the hangar here at Marion Local High School where tonight WSM brings a matchup of two of the top volleyball teams in the state in Division 6. The number two ranked Marion Local Flyers. They are undefeated with a 13-0 record. They are 4-0 in the MAC. And they are matched up with the number four ranked New Bremen Cardinals. They are uh, on the season 11-1. They are 3-1 in the MAC. And Dave Bowen, my good partner and good friend, Ho Hump, it is another great night of volleyball in the Midwest Athletic Conference. Mark, great to be your wingman this evening. It is a, is a fantabulous night for high school volleyball. New Bremen, Marion Local. You've got New Bremen who beat St. Henry, St. Henry who lost to Coldwater. New Bremen and Coldwater haven't played yet. They were tri-chance, the three of them, last year. It looks like it's shaping up that way a little bit. However, Marion Local, as you said, at 13-0, they would love to crash the party, and if that's going to happen, it needs to start tonight. Well, Dave, you know, you look at this matchup that we have here this evening, and you go, it, it's only the, you know, the, like the fifth league game. You've got a lot of league games to play yet, but it really is kind of a crucial game, particularly for New Bremen, who does have that loss already in conference play. Yeah, and talking to Coach Kramer before the game, I said, with, with Coldwater beating St. Henry, you control your own destiny again because St. Henry defeated uh, New Bremen earlier, and she said, yes, we do. So it sounded, her response made it sound to me that they have had that discussion. They do control their own destiny again. They need to carry things out the rest of the season. But again, this Marion local squad, led by Katherine Dirksen, 13-0. and zero. They are having an outstanding year. I saw them earlier against OG, a match in which their backs were up against the wall. They were down 2-0, and they showed resiliency and came back and won 3-2. They're going to bring it here on their home court. It is a flyer team that a year ago you could kind of predict this was going to happen. They were very young. They lost a lot of very close matches, and this year they have responded very well, and they have a chance to put a nail in the coffin, so to speak, for this New Bremen team playing here at home. Here Exactly right. Marion Local comes away with the win. They put themselves in position to continue to control their own destiny. And for all intents and purposes, they knock New Bremen out of the race. Maya Eckstein serves first. Here's the hit. It's going to go cross court and go long off of Mariana Muther. You're going to see one of the best setters in all of Ohio from New Bremen and Melina Schrader. She is just outstanding. There's Molina's set right there. Even Trettman hits, that's blocked. Set right back by Grace Moeller. It's 2-0 Flyers right out of the shoot. Moeller leads Marion Local in blocks. They have 73 as a team. She has 39 coming into tonight's match. Make it 40 now, Mark. Service again from Eckstein, the sophomore. She has 22 aces on the season. Schrader set, Treadman hits, that's blocked. Once again, there was Grace Muller along with Natalie Evers. It's 3-0 Flyers. Right now, Marion Local doing a great job in the early going, getting the defense up to where Schrader sets for the kill. Nicely done with the blocks. Dumped over by Melina Schrader. This hit will be by Keither. And push long and it will fall in. Tremendous placement of the volleyball. Melina Schrader, she does a great job right there. That's her 77th kill. Just such a heady well, player. Just remember, she's the setter, too. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Eyes in the back of her head. Here's Melina to serve, headed to the University of Dayton to continue her volleyball and academic career. That's tipped over by Keither. Steiniger will set. That was tipped over by Muther. Here's Steiniger will set again, and that hits by Schrader from behind the 10-foot line. That sets by Unrast. Schrader dumps it over, and it falls short. Almost got to roll, but not quite. So the serve will go back to the Flyers in the person of Natalie Evers. Natalie is a senior with 20 aces on the season. Schrader digs it out of the net. Hit from behind the 10-foot line by Rindler. And Rindler has to go play that one. Here's Schrader's set. It's blocked. Thought it might be a four hit. It was not. That one's blocked, though. How about the play by Keeter at the, at the net? Great net play both ways here on this particular volley. 
Trentman got it in. Ava Trentman picks up her 120th kill on the season, second on this New Bremen squad in that category, trailing Mary Rindler, who has 132. Mariana Muther, the freshman, will serve. Bit of an overpass. Good save at the net, however, by Evers. Here's the set. This will be Baker, and April hit it long. Cut that one just a little too much. The corner was there, brought it up the sideline, falls harmlessly out of bounds. The Flyers pick up the point. They lead 5-2 in the early going. Grace Moeller to serve. Schrader set, hit, and that will be put away by Lydia Bushman. She picks up her 52nd kill on the season. Here's Kara Steiniger to serve. The libero, she's going to go to Georgia to continue her academic and athletic career. Georgia's on her mind. She would really like to get that serve in, as she does. Here we go. And that goes off a couple different players. Schrader's going to have bump it over. Free ball. Here's the set. What a hit that time by Chloe Rodebaum. Chloe Rodebaum makes her presence felt for the first time tonight with that kill. She's second on this Marion Local Flyer squad in that category. That's kill number 82 on the season. Here's Ava Unrast to serve. Set. That kill attempt was by Riddler. And wow. they keep it alive. A little bit of an overpass that time. Here's the set. Rona Baum hit that ball, set again, and put away in the middle by Mary Rindler. Kill number 133 on the short set from Schrader. You talked about that overpass during that volley. It did not hurt New Bremen as they end up with the point, but that is what I noticed in the St. Henry match, which we had on WOSN. First contact, that was an area of concern for Coach Kramer. And it, it, was, uh, it came to fruition. That kill by Maya Eckstein. It's 7-4 Flyers on the Ultimate Outdoor Scoreboard. Chloe Ronebaum will serve. First team all-conference player a year ago as a junior. Set, hit, and that hit goes long off of Mary Rindler. Even when these big hitters miss, it still is really pretty. <laughs> she hit that hard, just long. Pass. And Schrader dumps it over to the corner. Hit by Eckstein. Saved. Here's a hit from behind the 10-foot line by Muther. Muther, the freshman, comes up with her 83rd kill. She's third on the squad. But again, Melina Schrader with that set going away from the net. Brings it back where Muther can hit it from behind the 10-foot line. April Baker serves. That's blocked the net. Probably, I think Mary Rindler got that one. Agree. That's the first time that New Bremen has scored on serve in the match, making it 8-6. Baker again. Set. X time. Schrader. And that's why she has all those kills when she is a setter, but in the front row, her ability to use her left hand and direct the ball down, outstanding. It's very impressive, and Marion Local was even ready for it, but she was able to bang it off an arm, and it falls to the ground. Here's Schrader again. She sets this time. That ball's blocked and will stay in bounds. Block goes by Natalie Evers. 9-7 Flyers. Evers with her 21st block on the season, second in the squad in that category. Natalie will serve, the senior. And then she will be the setter from the back row. Schrader pushes across court. The kill attempt goes long from Muther. 10-7, Flyers. Good serve. Schrader tracks it down. Here's the set. Hit that time by Rindler from the back row. Grona bomb. 
11-7 Flyers on that kill from behind the 10-foot line. Runabom's second kill of the set. Runabom in that OG match earlier, a match we had on WSN. She was coming off of being sick. Wasn't quite herself. I'm very impressed with her tonight in the early going. That kill attempt by Riddler will score. 11-8 still Flyers on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Here we are in the middle of set one. This is where you'll see a team put on a little run. Mary, our new Bremen down three right here. They need to get a couple points to get back to the even here. Allie Bornhorst served that ball. Here's the set. Tipped over, kept alive. And Schrader will hit out of the front row. Evers will set again. Off the blocker that time by Eckstein. 12-8. Both teams, the hitter's doing a great job of high-pointing the ball. Eckstein does it superbly right there. Reaches it at its high point. Her arm at the high point banks it down. Schrader sets from behind the 10-foot line. It missed it. It did. Shot went wide by Rindler. 13-8. Rindler tried to go cross-court right there. Just cut it too much. Excellent job by the line judges. Tough job tonight. Steininger will set Tretman this time, and Tretman's shot will come up a bit short. It's 14-8. Flyers. You can see Ava just didn't quite have her footwork down. Yeah. Coach Kramer giving her a word of encouragement. It's going to be free-balled over by Steininger. See what the Flyers do with it. And going... For the slide play, but missing on the sideline was Moeller. New Bremen catches a break right there. As you said, they had the free ball that one over. First contact, not a good pass. They get away with it. They get the point. Lydia Bushman comes in to play in the front row, and the service will be by Melina Schrader. Back set. Schrader will set again. That hit was by... Keither. Keither hit that one and dumped over by Evers. Schrader does the same thing. And the kill attempt by Lydia Bushman went long. A fortunate miss right there by Sophia oh, wait. Fleck. Are they going to? Yeah, they're going to change that okay. one. Okay. Yep. I didn't think she got a piece of it, but. We're as far away from the court as you can be. 14-10 as Melina Schrader will continue to serve with her 45 aces this year. That kill goes to Moeller and Grace puts it away. 15-10 Flyers. That's Moeller's first kill of the set. She leads Marion Local in that category with 132 now on the season mark. Natalie Evers will serve. Schrader sets, and Tretman got a good play by Unrass, but couldn't quite keep it alive, so a teammate could use it. Yeah, great effort by Ava Unrass right there. Anticipated that ball going to the middle. Great effort, just couldn't, that one arm bandit couldn't bring it back in. Mariana Muther to serve. How good do you have to be to start as a freshman? I know, On a exactly. state championship team with a lot of people coming back. She's just a pup, but she has shown why she's out there. Has had an excellent first set, but does go into the net right there. Interestingly enough, we are at 16-11, and neither team has taken a timeout. We played 27 points. Back set. That kill will go to Bushman. I think if uh, New Bremen wouldn't have gotten the point there, Coach Kramer would have thought about using that first time out. But they get the point, they get the serve. Kara Steiniger with her 28 aces on the season to serve. Back set. And the kill goes to Keither. Very quickly looking at my stat sheet, Dave, I think that the uh, New Bremen Cardinals only scored three points on serve today. There's an ace. There's our first one. Yep. 
Ava Unrast had 12 aces before today and just chalked up another one to put her team up six. Rindler, A. Unrath's got a hand on it. Kept it illegally. Rona bombed in the back row. Schrader sets and put that one away. Chalk it up to Mary Rindler. When Rindler's coming out of the middle like that, she is so lethal. The block was late for Marion Local, which gave Rindler that much more opportunity to hit the ball where she wanted. Finds it. Finds the spot. Hits it to the wood. Here's Sarah Dwenger to serve. Unrast will set. She pushes it up front so that Eckstein could try to make a play on it, but that will point will go to New Bremen at 18-14. She just wanted to toss that one over the net, just short-armed it a little bit. Overpass on the serve. That'll be a point for New Bremen. Cuts the lead to three. Coach Dirksen. She's ahead. Yeah. She's not thinking timeout, but it feels like momentum is switching here in the gym right now to New Bremen's side of the net. Pass to the front. Evers sets. Tipped over. Schrader hits it with a left hand and missed. She is so good at that. That time she just pushed it a little bit long. Just a little bit long. You'll take that, you know, every day and twice on Sunday from Melina Schrader. Just doesn't work out that particular time. Uh, Chloe Ronebaum serves. Schrader has to track down that pass. And the ball's blocked at the net. Not sure it was going to get over anyway. And it's going to be a five-point lead on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard for the Mary Local Flyers. Five-point lead, five points to set one victory for the Flyers. Ronebaum serves again. Nice set. No, she pushed it a little bit long. The Schrader just a little off with that one. It's 21-15, and we're going to get a timeout in New Bremen. Timeout for us also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's Marion Local premier sponsor is OPAC in Osgood. For all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs, call OPAC. Our first time out of the game, it's 21 to 15 in favor of the Flyers. Our first time out goes the way of New Bremen. Yeah, New Bremen takes the time out. It's a good time to mention, I asked both coaches, share with me one player who you just really enjoy their effort, what they bring to your team, and what they bring to your team that might have very little to do with the game itself. For Coach Dirksen and Marion Local, she talked about number 15, Sophia Fleck, a good-natured young lady, looks out for her teammates, and she has the intangibles of what exemplifies our young people in a pa positive fashion today. Congrats to number 15, Sophia Fleck. And we'll get the one from New Bremen a little bit later today. Rowenbaum serves coming out of the timeout. Schrader sets. Emphatically out of the middle is Mary Rindler. That's what you want to do, come out of a timeout, get a good pass, a great set, and have your second team all-conference player from a year ago get a kill, April Baker to serve. You sure do, and Coach Kramer, she was very direct with her team in that timeout. They're responding on that first play. Let's see what they do here, Mark. Evers will set, back set. Schrader sets, tipped over, and what placement of the ball that time by Mary Rinner. Talk about experience. You get the fastball the last time, you get great placement that time. And that gets her her fifth kill of the set. Here's Baker to serve again. The junior, 14 aces on the season for her. Out of the middle, Eckstein hits and she finds Wood. 22-17, Flyers, three points away from an opening set. And they will have Brooke Evers serve, the senior. Eckstein picks up her third kill. Schrader sets. I don't think it's a secret, Dave. At the timeout, they said, <laughs> put the ball where Mary Rindler can do something with it. Absolutely. Coming out of the middle, we saw it a couple of volleys previously. When she gets the great set right there, there's not much the defense can do. Rindler's going up over the net, over the block, banging it home in front of the back line. Four-point lead, though, for the Flyers. Now she has rotated out as Sarah Dwanger plays her place. It's not Sarah Dwanger, excuse me, Allie Bornhorst. 
And that hit was touched, right? It was. Yes. And it goes to 23-18s. Allie Bornhorst and Mary Riddler on a string. One in the front row, and then the other plays in the back. And now two points away from the opening set. Eckstein to serve. Steininger to Schrader. Free balled over. Here's Evers sets. Blocked by Trentman. And trying to make a play on it was Muther, and she slid across the line. We're at set point in set one. Here on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Yeah, Rachel Keeter with the kill. Flyers looking to take momentum into set two. Schrader with that left hand. Oh. What a play in the back row. And the kill that time will go to Muther as she powered it through two blockers. But how about the play in the back row a moment ago? Outstanding back there for Marion Local. Great effort. I think that was uh, Rachel Keeter. I'm not 100% sure. Here's Melina Schrader. Her team trails by five. And how about Schrader going to the freshman at set point? And here's our ace that will be chalked up for the Cardinals. It's 24-20. Melina Schrader had 45 aces in 39 sets, Dave. You'll take that. And that's who you want at the service line right here. And she just tied up Ronabom. They get it over, though. Set. Trettman hits. It's blocked to the back row. It'll fall in. Uh, the Marion Local Flyers will take set number one at 25-20. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard tonight here at the Hangar at Mary Local is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style resort living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Dave Bowen, Mary Local takes the opening set 25-20. They certainly do, and it just rock solid. We talked about Melina Schrader, but we've got to give kudos for Natalie Evers for Mary Local, the setter. Not flashy. She's like an ice cube. That doesn't melt. I mean, she is solid out there, and she distributed the ball all around. Eckstein had three kills. Moeller had two kills. Keeter had two kills. Ronnebaum had two kills. Sharing the wealth, making it tough on the New Bremen defense. A, where to block in the back row. B, where to set up, because they don't know where the ball's coming from right now. Kudos again to Ebert. She's got 324 assists on the season in 40 matches played. 40 sets play. Very quickly going through my stat page, I had New Bremen scoring just six points on service. And I think that's something that they would like to see improve, especially here with Melina Schrader to open up set number two as the server. Marion Local doing a great job with first contact. Here's Evers set. Dave mentioned that kill attempt was by Grace Moeller, banged over by Trentman. Here's another set. And that one is in right on the line by Eckstein. Maya, the sophomore, put it away. Coach Kramer thought that one was out. It's all about angles. And that's the first time we've seen either team really go straight uh -huh. down the yeah. line. Eckstein does it to perfection. Dynamite down the line for Mary Local. Here's the sophomore to serve. Schrader set. Block. Grace Moeller sends it back. It's 2-0 Flyers to open up this set, number two. Moeller leads this team in kills. She leads this team in blocks. She's got four blocks and only two kills. She doesn't care which happens as long as her team's winning. Schrader sets. That's blocked. And kind of in between was by Rachel Keith. They're not quite sure how she wanted to handle that, hit it into the net. She's had a really nice match so far. That time, ball just kind of played her instead of the other way around as Mariana Muther will serve. You're right. We don't see much indecision out there tonight. Did a little bit right there. Cost Marion Local a point. There's an overpass, and they got it over. How about the play that yeah. time by Keither? But that kill attempt, chalk that one up to Lydia Bushman. Her third kill on the evening. 
51 before tonight, but got that one down emphatically as Mutha will serve again. 19 aces for her on the season. And sails long. Not many service errors this evening. That would be one of them. In the service errors that we do see, they're out of aggressiveness. Yeah, that, the, the, yeah. In, in this league, the, the risk-reward prevails when you serve. Absolutely. Take a chance and see what happens. And four kits. Yep, that's what the call is. And we're tied at three on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. On the ladder, Cameron Haney. And on the floor, Michael Luth, our officials tonight, doing an outstanding job. Thank you, Dave. I thought about three times of announcing that. Kept forgetting to do so. So thanks for getting that in. That's a very important part of this match. There's an ace. That's why I'm your wingman. Chalk that one up. And that is the first time this evening in both the sets now that New Bremen Cardinals have led on the ace by Kira Steiniger. One team looking to build momentum, the other team trying to quelch it. Ever sets. It was a back set that time. Put away by Grace Moeller. We're tied at four. You know, you look at Grace Moeller, you pass her in the hallway, you're thinking, eh, just an average kid and everything physically. But man, she's got some tremendous arm whip. Gets the kill there. That ball's pushed across that time by Bushman. Unrast will set Ronabaum. And she got away with a hit. 5-4. Flyers. Ronabaum with her third kill on the evening. Got a ball dive went across the net. Schrader will back set. Bushman missed the sideline. 6-4. Flyers. Both teams with their blocks, trying to take away the cross-court shot. Giving you the line, unable to get it in right there, Snoop Bremen. Schrader sets. Oh! Mary Riddler emphatically scores. Hello, you Miss know, Riddler! Th there's a few girls around, Dave. If the coach says block her on homecoming week, you say no. Because <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not going to homecoming with bruises on my face. <laughs> exactly, yes. Sarah Dwanger served that one. Back set. Here's a set in the middle, and there's a push that time across by Rindler. And Rodebaum chases it down. Evers sets a back set again. There's Steiniger to play it. And Schrader pushes it to the back row, and she missed. Melina Schrader just a little too much. Overcooked it just a little bit. The Flyers get the point. 7-5 Flyers. Ava Unrast, libero to serve. That ball's blocked that time. I think that was it. Maya Eckstein uh -huh. would set it back. Well, as you said, earlier in the set, New Bremen led, what, 4-3? to three, And now That's the correct. Flyers are up 8-5. to five. They, they have pushed momentum back to their side of the net, but there's a nice block. Yeah, that was a block by Melina Schrader. Got the overpass that time and went for the kill, and there was Schrader to send it back at 8-6. Flyers. And uh, April Baker to serve. Off the top of the net to Unrast. Eckstein hits it through two blockers. And they keep it alive. Good play out of the net. Schrader hits it again. Evers back sets. And there's Riddler to put it away. It's another short set. Schrader to Riddler. I think they played a little volleyball yeah, together. I think so. Left hand knows what the right hand's doing in that short set. So tough to get a block there. Marion Local unable to do so. Cardinals with the point. Baker serves to Unrast. That's blocked. New Bremen didn't think it was contact on it. They wanted a four hits, didn't get the call. Steininger sets. Unrast will set this time and it's free balled over. See what the Cardinals do with this one. Back set on the slide and tipped across an awful blocker and it will go to New Bremen. We're tied at eight.
Outstanding athletic play by Mary Rindler. She wanted to slam that one on the slide, but the ball was up by the net. She does a good job of pushing it across. And service error will make it 9-8 Cardinals. Here's Chloe Ronabob. Steiniger and tips it across by Schrader. <laughs> so well disguised and so well placed. Picks up her third kill. She puts it in the campfire. And a really good set that time from Kara Steiniger. She has 70 assists on the season as a libero. Eckstein hits it over. Schrader dumps it to the back row. Good set for Eckstein. And it was touched, right? It sure was. Yeah, it was. I'm looking for the call. There it is. 10-9 Flyers. You know, you ever wonder what a volleyball feels and thinks? You know, you get hit to one side. You think, oh, you guys like me. You saved me from hitting the floor. And then they slam it at the <laughs> other team. Uh, a little personification there. I, I would not want to be a volleyball in this match. Overpass. Schrader was right there to play it, though. And tipped to an open area. Perfect placement that time by Amaya Eckstein. Puts her team up two on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. A changeup right there. These teams are used to handling fastball after fastball after fastball. And when you throw a changeup at him, it can be really debilitating to the defense. Mary Local does it right there. Tretman hit it long. Couldn't get on top of it no. that time. 12 9. Yep. Couldn't get on top of it. Her elbow was underneath the ball and it sailed on her. Ava Tretman has 119 kills, with second team all conference a year ago, and that serve is out. 12 10. And Sophia Fleck comes in the game, the young lady we talked about. Sophia will play the back row, and Brooke Evers will take a seat. Melina Schrader to serve. That's blocked by Trentman. Back set. That's blocked by Trentman. And trying to keep it alive was Muther, but could not on an illegal contact. 13-10. Eckstein picks up her eighth kill of the match. Schrader sets. Tretman, that's her best hit of the night. Uh, yes, it is. Second kill of the night inside the 10-foot line. That's called getting up in the air. Again, the, the block for Marion Local, they thought Schrader was going to go to an outside hitter. She comes to Tretman in the middle. No block there. Ball finds Wood. New third to serve. And she will chalk up an ace. 13-12. She had 19 aces before this evening. Did the freshman. Back set. Hits it right to Schrader. Steiniger will set this one. That one's blocked, but it will fall in. The kill will go to Blake is Barnhorse, wasn't it? I'm trying to see. Across I believe court. it was April no, Baker, right. it, number correct. three. It yeah. was April Baker. I couldn't see who hit it first of all. And we're tied at 13. Baker's first kill of the night. That ball set over by Steiniger. And then out of the middle, the hit was by Moeller. And Tretman just guides it over. And a little bit off balance, Rachel Keither gets the kill and will keep her team ahead by one. Keither with her third kill of the match. Cardinals right there, even if they can't go ahead here in the middle of the set so far. Back set and a kill, <laughs> Lydia Bushman. And we're tied at 14. It's big girl volleyball, Mark. Oh. No place for the weak of heart tonight. Just like we thought it would be. 14-14 in set two. Sierra Steiniger gets a note from her coach where she wants this serve to go. And she got a, an ace out of it. We're tied at 15. 
Excuse me, the Cardinals are up 15-14. Looked at the scoreboard wrong. Only the second time they have been ahead in the entire evening. What a serve. Just rode right up on them. Flyers trying to battle back out of the point, and they do so on a kill by Chloe Ronebaum. And that's what this, this match is coming down to. The plays that maybe physically it just doesn't work out right or you misplay, mm -hmm. how do you regroup and how do you handle that and can you make money off of that? Mary Local did it right there. Back set from Schrader, it's tipped over. Kept alive by Unrast and Evers sends it over. Back set again. And it got to the floor off the kill by Mary Rindler. Another perfect example of the changeup. Rindler, we've seen the velocity. When she hits it hard, you need to get the radar gun out. But on that particular play, she goes with the changeup. The ball finds the wood. Sarah Dwenger serves this ball. Set. Kill attempt by Brooke Evers. And that in or out, looking for a call. <laughs> And the call is in. 17-15 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Well, just like in the opening set, Dave, we played 32 points and nobody's taking a timeout. Going to save it for when you get well, to 20. It's kind of an indication of how close the match has been. Nobody's been able to go on big runs either. No big runs and how much confidence you have in your team by both coaches. Molina Schrader sets. Has to be tracked down by Dwenger. Unrast has to free ball it over. And winding up for the big kill is April Baker. Nope, and we also had a flyer in the net. And we're going to get a timeout. It's 18-15 Cardinals in the second set. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's very local premier sponsor is OPAC in Osgood for all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs. Call OPAC in Osgood. Dave, you were talking about special players a moment ago. Yeah, special players uh, for New Bremen and talking to Coach Kramer again. That player that you just enjoy seeing every day, um, maybe has very little to do with volleyball, but you're just so proud that she's part of your program. Well, this young lady for New Bremen, Coach Kramer's not only proud that she's part of the program, but so are her teammates, number 12, Annie Leifeld, she's a sophomore. She is a captain on this team as a sophomore. The other two captains are seniors in Kara Steininger and Melina Schrader. You get them. But Annie Leifeld, she, she's only played in three varsity sets, team captain. Great respect from her teammates. Coming out of the timeout, Rodebaum gets a kill to make it 18-16 Cardinals and... Ava Unrast turned to serve with 12 aces this season. 186 digs in 40 sets for the libero. Schrader sets. The ball was left short by Baker. Timeout proving good for the Flyers so far. They've scored two points and are a point away from tying this set up. And just to finish that thought with Layfeld, Coach Kramer said she's just a huge component of this team. What a compliment to her. Schrader sets. Big kill attempt by Rindler. Free balled over as Flyers keep it in play. Schrader dumps it down, but right there's Evers. And then Maya Eckstein couldn't finish the play. It's 19-17 Cardinals in set two. Big play right there. The Marion local fan base knew how impressive it was that they were able to dig that, that kill attempt out by Schrader, but they couldn't get it over the net. April Baker was the server, but Brooke Evers puts one away to make it 19-18 on the Ultimate Outdoor scoreboard. Ultimate Outdoor, bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Rindler hit that one. Eckstein goes cross-court, but Steiniger's there. Schrader hits it to the back row. This time she puts it in the right spot. And picks up her fourth kill in the process. Melina Schrader put the ball right exactly where she wanted it to go. Her team is up two. They need five to take set number two. 
Aldi Bornhorst will enter to serve. Evers sets. And sending it a bit long that time was Eckstein. It is 21 18. Eckstein aimed that one just a little. Took a little bit off on her arm swing and it sell, sailed long on her. There's an ace. Chuck that one up. Dally Bornhorst. And for the first time tonight, the New Bremen Cardinals have a four point lead. They have had to fight for that four point lead. We'll see if Coach Dirksen thinks timeout if she loses this point. Float serve. Kept him off balance and it's hit. Out of bounds. Point goes the way of the Cardinals and at 23 18, Mary Local takes their second timeout. You're watching High School Volleyball WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. And that scoreboard shows the New Bremen Cardinals with a five point lead in set two at 23 18. Five point lead, Coach Dirksen takes the timeout. A lot of high fives, a lot of positive energy in that Marion local huddle. Let's see how it pans out. Bornhorst serves. Another good serve from her. Back set, tipped over. Kept alive on the far side by Muther. That kill ends up being by Muther. Coach Kramer thought it was an illegal back row attack. She yep. didn't get the call, but she did get the kill. And they're a point away from taking set two on the service by Allie Bornhorst. Bornhorst serves again to Unrast. Block, but it falls on the side of the New Bremen Cardinals. So it's 24-19. Maya Eckstein with that kill, nine on the night. The diving play on that time by Rindler, and we're going to get illegal contact. Again, that's a tough one. It was a great serve. The trainer had to come all the way over here to the scores table, and she just had a double hit there. Not much she could do with that one. Another good serve that time. Makes it 24-21. The number of times that point 25 is hard to get. It seems like, yep. It seems like a lot more than it should be. Let's put it that way. Yep, there's no clock up there. You gotta earn it, just like in baseball set and softball. Tretman, Ava Tretman puts it away. And set number two will go to the New Bremen Cardinals at 25-21. We're even at one set apiece. Back with set number three in a moment. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's very local premier sponsor is OPAC in Osgood for all your industrial painting. Standing and assembly needs, you can call OPAC. Dave Bowen, you got some stat numbers you want to talk about for two sets? Well, stat numbers, but I was just going to talk about tradition a little bit. All right. Mark, you know, seven MAC championships for New Bremen, four state titles the last two years. Marion Local, 10 MAC championships, four state championships. Coach Dirksen was a member of Marion Local's first state championship team in 2007. Do you think these teams are cool and these programs are cool <laughs> under pressure? That's what we're seeing right here. Set number three. Don't go anywhere. We're just getting started. I, I really have a feeling that the opening, like, five to seven points are very important for both teams right here. We're, we're at one set apiece. New Bremen played extremely well at the end of set number two. Let's see how the Flyers respond or if, Mary, if New Bremen keeps on the, the foot on the gas pedal here. And you cannot hit the ceiling and send the ball over the net. So the first point is to be an ace that will go to the way of Mary Local. I guess that partly answers the question. That gets them started on yep. the right foot, but you're right. It's the best out of three now, and momentum at the beginning of each set is tremendous. Eckstein goes back-to-back -back aces. She had 22 before tonight to lead her team, and she just picked up a couple on the first two points of set three. 
She's come out swinging right here. Punch, counter punch. Steininger gets that one. Schrader sets and Trettman put it away just like she did at the end of set number two. Picks up her fifth kill of the night. Does Ava Trentman again, so lethal in the middle. She's good on the outside, but she's tremendous at the middle. Melina Schrader will serve. Set, back set to Schrader. Steininger sets. That was touched. You know what, Dave? That was really, really close to being a back row attack because Steininger set the ball with fingertip action right on the 10-foot line. And as a libero, if she's in front of that 10-foot line, she cannot do it. But the call was called legal. It was close. We're tied at two. Blocked by Trentman. She's come alive the last several points. There's the underhand set. But it's blocked. 3-2, New Bremen. You're right, Ava Tremann has come alive, and I think she's one of those variables, intangibles, that when she is on, she just makes New, New Bremen that much more tougher to defend. Second team all-conference a year ago, had 119 kills before tonight. Just dumped over that time by Evers. Here's Tremann, and that one she hit long, so we're tied at three. Hit that one long. Schrader would like to have that one back. She, it was a short set that she went just a little high. Trentman hung in the air as long as she could, mm. but she sailed it. Natalie Evers to serve and to Steininger. Just free balled over that time on a play by Muther. Ronebaum hits it off a couple of people. Evers will set again out of the middle this time. Trentman hit it over. Evers back sets. And it went long. Do we have a touch? We do not. I think Natalie Evers set three different players in the front row that time, trying to spread the wealth around a little bit. Trying to make that defense move. New Bremen comes away with a point. The back corners are open. New Bremen bringing five and a half in front of the 10 foot line. There's an ace for Muther. It's 5 3 Cardinals. I'm very impressed by what this freshman is doing. Yeah, she is outstanding. How uh, about that? Third on the team in kills, aces, and digs. Back set. Off a block from Trentman. Schrader back sets. That's blocked. Give that block to Grace Moeller. It's 5-4. Unofficially, Moeller picks up her fifth block for a point for Marion Local. They've all been huge. Raider sets, Trepman pushes it over. Unrast will set this time, Ronabaum, and left it long. Just came back yeah. to her so quickly, couldn't get her footwork the way she wanted to. The set was back by the 10 foot line and she wasn't able to get the ball to drop on the back line as Kira Steininger serves. Her team's up two. Good serve again. Unrast will hit it over. That's a legal set that time, clearly from behind the 10-foot line. And tipped out of the middle, and that will be a point. Give that one to Brooke Evers. 6-5. Ava Unrast to serve. Just pushed over that time by Rindler. This will be a free ball. See what Flyers can do with it. Evers will set. Ronabom goes up high and hits it through the block. She had, her footwork. Yes, yes, she sir. had her footwork set that time. Was deep behind the 10 foot line. The set was in a perfect position and she whammed that one. Well, and 12 points into this, Dave, into this set. Nobody had that momentum we thought might happen coming out of uh, set number two like it did. They've effect effectively neutralized each other, but. Mary Rindler says, here's your momentum. Let's build off of it right there. You know, Dave, uh, one of my childhood guys I liked was Bill Russell, right? Who yeah. used to say, please do not bring any weak stuff inside. <laughs> Don't bring any weak stuff in here tonight. <laughs> yeah, Mary Rindler, she slams that one. Good serve that time. It's going to be free balled over. See what the Cardinals do with this one. Back set. 
And hit it, and it falls in that time for Rindler. She went cross court. And back-to-back -back kills for Rindler. Kills 11 and 12 in the match. Maybe the Cardinals are seizing some momentum right here. Serve is long, 8-7. Flyers. And we talk about risk and reward with the serve, but when you get things going like they do with those two kills, you got to get that one in. Here's Chloe Ronebaum to serve. Set. Kill. Evers to set. And off a block goes my Eckstein. We're tied at eight. Eckstein's tenth kill of the set. Just outstanding volleyball. You can say, well, maybe outstanding volleyball is long volleys. It isn't when you've got the kind of hitters on both, side of, on both sides of the net. Schrader will set from behind the 10-foot line. Goes Muther. That kill attempt was by Eckstein. Mariana Muther made a good run to kick the ball, but when it got up into the ceiling, not much they could do with it. 9-8. And you mentioned it earlier. Flyer. This is one of the gyms that the, the yep. ceiling is lower compared to a lot of the schools in the match. And just a perfectly placed ball by Melina Schrader. She is so adept at that. You don't know she's going to do it, and then all of a sudden, you know, it, it's done. You can't send a blocker to her. You send them to the outside where you got Rindler or somebody else to hit the ball. So just tremendously well placed. And the key is because she gets off the floor so high when she goes to set it. There she tried her left-handed hit. Not successful. But that time there she goes up with two hands and just buried it. That's six kills for Schrader on the night. Well, you go, how does the setter have 76 kills <laughs> in 39 sets? And you can see why. Yep. That's tipped over. Steininger gets to it. And there's another great play by Melina Schrader. She's taken over she set number two. She is right three. now. Melina Schrader, it's her playground. We're all just here watching. Very impressive. Baker serves. April almost had an ace. In fact, she made the ball unplayable, and it's going to be four hits. It'll be 12-9, and it will be timeout. Marion Local. Cardinals on a run in set three. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Cardinals on a run. They've scored the last four points to take a 12-9 lead in set three. Ronebaum from behind the 10-foot line. Schrader will set. And perfect place for the volleyball by Mary Rindler. Keeps the rally going. I know they didn't get the point, but I thought that was a great timeout by Coach Dirksen. Again, very positive with her team. They want to knock this door down, get themselves back into this Mac triumvirate. They got to respond here in set three. Natalie Evers will set. And off a blocker, the point will go to Maya Eckstein. Nicely Stops the done. run at five. Yes, nicely done. But yeah, that five-point run, big time for New Bremen. Last year, New Bremen won this set in regular season play, 3-0, and then they defeated Marion Local in the district championship as well, 3-0. Back set, and missing the sideline that time was Mary Rindler, 13-11. So you gotta fight through, you gotta bring that mental toughness right now for your Marion Local. The ball will not cross the net, so it's 14-11. I saw the athletic director here, Dave, uh, Mr. Dan Koenig. I said, Dan, yep. you got a spare bedroom? Because I'll be back here tomorrow <laughs> night. These two teams playing football. Great place to come oh. down, Maria Stein and Dan Koenig and company. Just love watching Mac football. 14-11, New Bremen on a tremendous hit that time by Grace Moeller, 14-12. 
You know, Grace Moeller, she really hasn't made her presence known a whole lot from the kill line tonight with four kills. Boy, it'd be neat to see her be able to get into that groove if you're a Marion local fan. Down two here in set three. Rachel Keither comes in. She's going to play in the front row. Float serve. That's going to be a point. Chalk that one up for my ex time. She had 22 aces before this evening. It's 14 13. And I show three thus far in tonight's match. The last time it was tied was 9 to 9. Set. Tretman pushed it over. Evers will try to dump it over. Strader pushes it to the back row. They're ready this time. And the young lady just checked in a moment ago. Rachel Keither pushes the ball to a proper part of the court. And we are tied at 14. Kind of double hit there. I like the call. It was a block. Went off the blocker's left hand. And then with time elapsing, came over and hit her right hand. Good call. Schrader will set. Ronebaum plays the hit. Out of the middle, big hit by Grace Moeller that will return, will go out of bounds. Here's the Cardinals trailing by a point. Natalie Evers with the short set, Moeller with the kill. Excellent execution by those two. 15-14. Overpass. Evers will back set. That point goes to Grace Moeller. She's making me look good here. Grace Moeller with three kills in this set. The last five points have gone the way of Marion Local trying to keep it going is Eckstein. Schrader will push it over, but they're blocked that time. Tretman will push it over. Steininger sets. Schrader, big hit, but Ronebaum is there. And again, and it got right on the line. <laughs> Schrader, she was pointing to the floor before the ball hit. Over there, she knew where it was going to go. You know, we talk about basketball players having the ball on the string. Yeah. Alina Schrader, she's a volleyball player, has the ball on the string. She knows where it's going to go. She knows where she's going to put it. This is Molina to serve, University of Dayton future volleyball player. That ball is tipped towards the net and Trentman put it back so we're tied at 16. There's that first contact so critical for both teams. Got to make a good pass up to the setter. New Bremen takes advantage of that particular overpass. Float serve. Unrash gets to it. That's hit off a block. Steininger sets that one. And that point will go to Lydia Bushman. It's 17 16, New Bremen. Back and forth we go. Bushman with her sixth kill of the match. Marion Local has used one timeout, has one remaining. New Bremen has not called a timeout in set three. That pass was just a little bit behind Moeller. She couldn't do anything with it. It's 18-16. She wanted to set a little closer to the net. Yeah, Natalie Evers with one of her few misplays of the night. This doesn't connect that time. Schrader float serve again. Just tipped over with perfect placement by Rachel Keither. A nice bounce back for Evers with that particular set. 18-17. This is Natalie to serve. Senior setter. Here's Natalie to set. It's a back set. And putting that one away, once again, Rachel Peter. 18 all. New Bremen set up the block at the middle and to the right. You're right, the back set from Evers. She, that allows Keeter to go to a place where nobody is. Set. Just free balled over. Here's Natalie to set again out of the middle. And chalk that kill up to Grace Moeller. <laughs> yeah, Grace Moeller. 
Uh, we get paid to do this? Oh, I tell you, I looked, I looked a long time to make sure it was in on the sideline. It definitely was. Yeah. Just watching these high school ladies get after it, just so enjoyable. Schrader will set, far side. Kill goes to Lydia Bushman. We're tied at 19. Bushman with her seventh kill on the night. Every time I, I do a MAC volleyball game, I think there's going to be a whole lot of really good lady volleyball players who won't make first or second team in this conference. Absolutely. No place to put them. Back set. Blocked. Rachel Keither is having a really good third set. Her team's up one. Picks up her sixth kill of the match right there. Mary Local hits 21st. It's Brooke. a game to five for them. Brooke Evers will come in to play the front row. That just rolled across the net and fell in. April Baker puts the ball on the tape. Rolls it down there and falls, as you said, harmlessly. First one to five, 20 to 20. Win by two. Steiniger will serve. Kiera's serve as a line drive that just didn't quite get over the net. 21-20. Ava Unrast, the senior libero to serve. Schrader will set and ran into a teammate, and they couldn't get it to the ball to play it. It's 22-20 Flyers. Coach Kramer not going to take a timeout, just vocalizing her wishes to her team on the floor. Schrader will set that one out of the middle. When you need a point, you go to Mary Rindler. 22-21. Kill, Kill number 13 on the night for Rindler. You know, I, I would agree with your stat numbers, but it seems like it's been double that. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. Know, it seems like every time they need a point, she's putting something away for him. It's 22-21 as Sarah Dwanger will serve. But that one goes into the net. It's 23-21. Coach Kramer's still going to let it play. Troy Ronenbaum serves. Schrader hits it down, but Unrast is there. Free balled over. Here's Schrader again and hits it again. And got that one as a point. Schrader goes to the corner. That's what you will typically see that's open. But seeing it open and getting it there are two different things. Schrader does so right there. Here's April Baker. Evers backs up to get it. Schrader will set again and... A kill. Put that one away for Mariana Muther. The freshman. We're tied at 23. Freshman kill number four. And Coach Kramer says, I don't need to use my timeouts. We're going to respond on the court. Marion Local has one timeout remaining. There's a long pass. Tipped over. Schrader will set. Evers will set. Point, chuck it up my X time. We're tied at 23, or 24, 23 Flyers. Kill number 12 for X time. Serving. Set point for yeah. the Flyers. Trying to serve set three out. Set. Unrast will set. And X time missed the sideline. How about? Kira Steiniger looking at that and going, do I play it or don't I on set point? That really, really takes some intestinal fortitude on set point to let that one go by you. you got to know it's out. When it's on your side of the court, you get help from your teammates and your coach. She had to make that decision on her own. Here's Barnhurst to serve. we got some free volleyball here now. That one goes long. It's 25-24. Players for both teams on the benches up on their feet. Schrader pushes it over across and she does it again. <laughs> 25 all. Kill number nine for Molina. Now she has rotated to the back row after a very successful run in the front row. So she will not be able to do some of the things she's just been doing. 
but she can serve really well, and that one is a good serve. Evers sets out of the middle. It's blocked, but blocked out of bounds. Grace Moeller with kill number nine. She's had a majority of those kills here in the third set, Mark. Natalie Evers to serve. Schrader comes up to set. Unrasked. They keep it alive, but not quite good enough. We're tied at 26. Great effort by the Flyers. Bodies banging in the bodies. Trying to do everything they can, but that one goes down. Mariana Muther to serve. Evers, back set. Kill, put it away. The race smaller. 10 kills on the night. And now Grace Moeller will go back to serve. It is 27-26 on our ultimate outdoor scoreboard. Oh, they kept it alive. Oh. What a play. Steininger will set. And the big kill on the front row goes to Lydia Bushman. We're tied at 27. Bushman with her eighth kill, but I don't know how Marion oh Loco got the ball up from Trentman's hit. Wow. I was set to put that in the scorebook. Yes. We're tied at 27. Kara Steininger to serve. Evers will push across court to Ronebaum. Steininger will set again. Tipped over. Evers will set. Ronebaum hits again. It's blocked. And there is Mary Rindler at the net to put her team up one. It is 28-27, Cardinals in set three. Coach Kramer has used no timeouts. Coach Dirksen has one left. And we're just going to play through it. We're Here's Steiner going to serve. It. Run the bomb. Hello. <laughs> We're tied at 28. Going to play through it. Both coaches saying, my team's on the floor. There you go. Here's Ava Unrast to serve. We're tied at 28. Schrader sets. Mary Rindler off the great set. And that is a pass set kill just the way you draw it up. Steininger, Schrader, Rindler. Exactly. You clip that one. Take that video and use it at your elementary uh, camp in the summer. Show those Sarah Dwanger serves down. an ace and knocks out set number three. The Cardinals win set number three, 30-28. They take a two set to one lead over Mary Local. Set four coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's Mary Local premier sponsor is OPAC in Osgood. For all your industrial painting, standing and assembly needs, you can call OPAC. All right, Dave, what kind of numbers we got now after set three? Well, Rindler has 14 kills for New Bremen. And for Marion Local, Grace Moeller has 10. Maya Eckstein has 12 for Marion Local. You know, if you're Coach Dirksen, we gave them a really good shot here, but we just got to keep firing, girls. Yep. We didn't lose that set. They just won it. Let's keep battling, see what we can get going here. But New Bremen, wow, what tenacity to come away with a 30 to 28 set number three victory. And Coach Kramer never took a timeout. I, I just wonder, <laughs> Dave, in, in my years of watching and covering volleyball and fish hitting and so on, Set four often starts out being kind of a sloppy type thing. You've played for an hour and 15 minutes. You've you played three very exhausting emotional sets, and sometimes there's a bit of a letdown by both teams when you start out set number four. I'm A, curious if that will happen tonight, and B, which one of it comes out first if it does happen. Yeah, that's a great observation. You are so correct. Marion Local down two to one and losing set two and three. They really can't afford to come out sloppy, but let's see what happens. Here's Melina Schrader to serve. As we open up set four in this Midwest Athletic Conference matchup. 
Here's Molina will set this time, and out of the middle is Ava Trentman. Ava was a second team all-conference player. She was second on the team in kills coming into this evening with 119 behind Rindler's 132. 1-0 one Cardinals. And ace, chalk it up for Molina Schrader. Marion Locals got to dig in here. They don't want to fall behind early. And oh, just a bit long. It's one of those things that Coach Kramer talks about risk reward. That's a, a foot away from being an ace. And another thing she talked about after losing to St. Henry, to New Bremen, we're, we're going to be back. Growth is not linear. They have really put it on a display, put a display on tonight. Up in the ceiling, it goes on the kill by Lydia Bushman. It is 3-1 Cardinals. Bushman with her ninth kill on the night. This is the freshman Muther to serve. Evers will back set. Chalk that kill up to Grace Moeller. We're three to two. So if you looked at the poll this week in the Division Six, Coldwater was one, Ray Local two, to Bremen four, so Henry three, Parkway eight. Goodness. Bocked out of bounds on the kill by Lydia Bushman. Yeah, and all those teams are in Division Six as well, right, Mark? Yeah, that's correct. So they're going to see each other for the most part before the state level. Kill. Pound that one away for Grace Moeller. It's 4-3. And I have a pretty good feeling. You know who else is going to see them? WOSN. Yes. Because <laughs> we will be on that district volleyball, sectional volleyball. 4-3. Is this going to be an ace? Nope, but it's going to be a free ball over. See if the Flyers can use it. Set. Run the bomb. Off the net that time. And you know what? Mary Riddler's allowed to do that. That's going to say. That's one of the few balls she has misplayed, and she and her coach just start laughing at each yep. other. She tried to roll that one over. She knew she couldn't get a good arm on it. And just coming from behind, top one. But we're going to get an ace. Give that one to Grace Moeller. Her team's up 5-4. And she line drives another one. So Mary Local bounces back from the shaky start to set four. Grace Moeller had 19 aces in their 40 sets before tonight. Just had back-to-back -back ones to Steininger this time. Unrath says, I got this one. Ronebaum hits it, but it's blocked, and it will fall. The block goes to Mary Rindler. That's one that Brooke Evers and Rachel Keeter would like to have back to work together on that one. You can say miscommunication, but things happen so quickly out there, Mark. Sarah Dwanger serves. Unrest has to go low to get it. And Ronebaum hits it to Steininger. Schrader tips it over. Are they going to get a play? Yes, they are. Be free balled over by Evers. Schrader goes up and gets it again. How about the height of that one? Just so impressive. Melina Schrader just seems like she makes the right decision at the net every time. That's her 10th kill. That in ball the match. was right in the peak of the net. Either team could have played it. She just played it better. Blocked. Hit back over by Rindler. Evers will set Ronebaum. Schrader pushes it to the back row. What a play in the back row, but not quite able to keep it in play. It was Grace Moeller just forced her just to get to it. Yeah, finding the corners right there is New Bremen. And it is 7-6 to six now on Sarah Dwanger's serve. That point will go to Brooke Evers. We're tied at 7. Her third kill on the evening. 
Ava Unrast to serve. Getting the feeling neither team's going to be able to run away and hide from the other one here in set number four now. Schrader hits it over. Ronebaum again, but she hits it right to Muther that time. Anybody touch that one? It was a touch. I thought it changed direction in the air. Yeah, great call by the officiating yep. crew right there. Cameron Haney on the ladder. And we're going to get a question from the very local staff. What they do is they send their captain, Natalie Evers, over to ask, which is how you do it. They just yell across the floor at the officials. And that serve was short. We're tied at eight. Yeah, I think there was contact there, but if you're a Mary local fan with that ball going in the net, you're saying the old proverbial, the ball don't lie. So Ronebaum serves. Schrader sets. <laughs> you know, when Riddler gets set up, you need to take your pets and your small children and put them in a safe place. This is be married to serve. And she gets an ace out of her effort. The team is up two now, 10-8 on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. And it's 10-9 after that serve. Back to serve will be Brooke Evers. The team is down a point here in set four. They trail by a set also. Schrader dumps it over with two hands. He gets another kill. It's 11-9. 11-9, 11 kills for Schrader. And again, the setter for Marion Local, Natalie Evers, she's been outstanding. Yeah. Just two different expectations with how they run their offenses for each setter. That ball hit where? Must have hit outside the antenna. It's on the far side from us. It is 12-9, and it is timeout flyers. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Dave Bowen, we saw a Marion local timeout, and we have seen a very uh, emphatic, I guess you'd say, Catherine Dirksen. Yeah, Coach Dirksen really getting her point across. And what I love, the girls are leaning forward, yes. great eye contact, soaking it in. See how they respond. Melina Schrader will continue to serve. Her team is up 12-9 following that timeout. Natalie Evers sets, and she mishit the ball. 13-9. If you're looking at a schedule for New Bremen, they've got a great matchup with the number one team in Division 7 on Saturday at Fort Laramie. They have Arcanum on Monday, and then next Thursday, they have Minster at home. And a huge matchup in this conference. Here's Schrader to serve again. 13-9. She line drives it to Unrast. And hitting it long is a touch. It is not. 14-9 on Schrader's serve. The, yeah, uh, the Flyers, they're in Kenny Loggins' land. They are in the danger zone right now. Got to dig themselves out. Here's Schrader again. Evers will set cross court. And Trentman puts it away. Here come the New Bremen. You look at Marion Local. They are at Sydney Lehman on Saturday. They play St. Mary's Memorial next Tuesday. Then they go to St. Henry in a huge match next Thursday night, the 26th. Six-point lead. Cardinals. Unrash just dumps it over, and they're not able to keep it alive. She surprised everybody that time to end that string. But her team trails by five. Schrader with a really good run of service there. 
Maya Eckstein behind the serving line for Marion Local. They need to put a little run together. They don't want to change or trade one for one here, Mark. We're going to get a little wipe the cord up action. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv, also available on Roku and on Apple TV. Definitely facing some adversity right here are the Flyers. Good play that time by Muther. Ball got up in the ceiling and she was there to play it. Evers back sets. And we're going to get what? Illegal contact? Nope, we got net violation. You'll take him any way you can get him right now if you're Marion Local. They tried to go with the slide. The set was a little tight to the net. Moeller couldn't get a hit on it. She signaled number one, which would be Melina Schrader. I was following the ball. I didn't see exactly who was in the net, but that was the official's call. Here's a set cross court. That's Bushman's hit. Up in the ceiling it goes. 16-11, Cardinals. Bushman with her 11th kill on the night. She's a really good compliment when you exactly. think about what, what Trentman does and what Rindler does and what Schrader does. She's a really good compliment to that, to that group, of, that core right there. Yeah, we, we mentioned the various hitters for Marion Loco earlier. Schrader's got a plethora of hitters as well to go to. 16-12. Marion Loco needs a run. Tipped over, Unrast gets to it, and Unrast is able to keep it alive, but free ball, see how Cardinals react. They react by putting it to Trentman. Right now, any mistake Marion Local mm. makes, New Bremen is taking advantage of it, Mark. And here is, back to the front row comes Mary Rindler as Steinerger goes to serve. With a five point lead in set four. Evers saves it, pushed over. Steininger sets. It's blocked, but blocked out of bounds. 18-12. Kill number 12 for Bushman. This time, it's uh, Mary Loku who's only scored four points on service this set. When your crock is too big, you can't get your, your broom on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's Steiniger to serve with a six-point lead. Evers sets. But it's blocked. Mary Rindler sends it back for a seven-point lead. Timeout. Flyers at 19-12. They burn their second timeout. And in this set, Dave, New Bremen has taken over. They really have, and it, it's nothing that Marion Local is necessarily doing wrong. It's just that you're seeing the weapons that New Bremen has, and when it's a good pass to Melina Schrader, that gives her options all over the floor, and they have put that on display here in set number four, and as a result, they have built themselves a seven-point lead. You know these guys, Dave, we got this thing called the Three Wise Men Podcast. <laughs> Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, Nate Garlock each week as they break down local football matchups, talk Buckeye football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio. Do you know those guys? Yeah, I know them, and we've actually uh, subbed in a little bit, yeah. but they kicked us out. We weren't wise enough, I guess. Yeah, well, I, when I was on there, it was two wise men and the old guy. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Tune in for that every week. Steiniger with a seven-point lead. New Bremen trying to close out set four and walk out of it with a three set to one lead win. Evers sets. And when you need a point, you go to Grace Moeller and she puts it away. It's 19-13. And that is kill number 13 for Moeller. Then the junior will now go back to serve. She was a second team all-conference player a year ago in the MMAC. That's blocked, but the point will still go to Lydia Bushman. It is 2013. And she says, hey, Grace Moeller, that's kill number 13 for me as well. 
She has 13. Rindler has 15. Trentman has 8. Set. Tipped over. That point will go to Brooke Evers at 2014. Real good vision there from Evers to find the open spot. Duango sets a cross court where it's rolled over, but not quite getting over the net to make it 2015. And one of the few points that New Mary Local has scored on service here in set four. They have burned both of their timeouts. New Bremen has not used one. Schrader sets. How about the play in the back row that time? Yeah, that was Grace Moeller. Well, it was back Grace there. Moeller who mm -hmm. did it. I had to wait till she get up so I could see her jersey number, and then. The hit goes long, and Flyers score again. It is 2016. Yeah, her, her save, her dig wasn't the result of that point right away, but eventually it was. Great play by Marion Local. Schrader sets. Just tipped over that time on the score by Rindler. It looks like a line drive in the scorebook tomorrow. And to serve, April Baker. 16 kills for Rindler now. And boy, they're able to keep it alive thanks to the diving play by Ronabaum. On a slide, Rindler gets another kill. It's 22-16. They keep it alive, but it ends up being a free ball basically for New Bremen, and they take advantage of it. Rindler hit the tape. But now all that did was help it find wood on the other side of the net. Evers saves it. Tipped back over by Rindler on the block. Unrass pushes it over. Schrader hits to the back row and scores again. She hadn't done that in a while, but she finds the corner there. And again, we are seeing the complete yeah. offensive arsenal from New Bremen on display. 23-16. Two points away from a four-set victory. It's 23-17. Chloe Ronebaum serves. And she gets an ace at a very important time. It's 23-18. Ronabaum serves again, this time to Steininger. Schrader back sets. And it's blocked, it's blocked. Out. 24-18. New Bremen Cardinals on the verge of a four-set victory in this very important MAC matchup. There'll be no quit in the Flyers. 24-19. to serve Brooke Evers, the senior. Schrader sets. Evers will set. Schrader hits it with the left hand, but not this time. Evers dumps it over. Schrader again with the left hand, and she scores again. Dave, I think a, a, an analogy I think that plays very well down here in this part of the country, she's the best milker on the farm. <laughs> she is. She is. Puts it away right there. Just such as we've said throughout the match and in all the games we've seen Melina Schrader play. Such a heady player. She brings the physical and the mental together. She involves her teammates, but she's not afraid to take that, that shot, if you will, and uh, she does right there to finish this one off. It's a four-set victory tonight for the New Bremen Cardinals. The opening set went to Marion Local 25-20, and then the sets two, three, and four went the way of New Bremen 25-21, 30-28, and 25-19. Dave Bowen, it's a sign out front, says tickets were seven bucks. For seven bucks tonight, you can watch a tremendous freshman volleyball match that Marion Local won two to nothing. 
and then a great JV match that actually went three sets before New Bremen won the third set, and then a four-set match here. You spend seven bucks tonight, you got a money's worth tonight. Yeah, you definitely got your money's worth, and it was a full house, and you could sense a couple times the Marion local crowd. They were on their feet, really proud of their team, hoping they could get over that hump. They had that great first set. They won that 25-20. They forced Coach Kramer to call her only timeout of the night, down 15 to 21. But what a response from New Bremen. Marion Local trying to crack into that top three of New Bremen, St. Henry, and Coldwater. Undefeated coming into this match. But New Bremen, they had an answer every time Marion Local knocked on the door. With the loss tonight, the Marion Local Flyers will drop to 13 and 1 on the season. They will still be 4 and 1 in MAC play. New Bremen moved to 12 and 1. They are 4 and 1 also in MAC play. I want to thank the athletic director here, Mr. Dan Caney. Took care of us very well this evening, as he always does. And our wonderful producer, director, camera person, audio, video, the whole thing, Megan Sherrick worked for us here at the Marion Local, and she will take this back to the station and edit it all together. In a wonderful four-set victory tonight, New Bremen over Marion Local. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. <laughs>